Hi, and welcome to this Green Tailor Partners video on setting up your JobKeeper payments in your Xero software package. On the screen, we have a demo company with the payroll functionality in our Xero data file, which will be just like your program. This first step we're going to do is actually set up an account code to allocate the income item when we do receive the income from the federal government. To do this, we simply go to Accounting, Advanced, and across to Chart of Accounts. From within Chart of Accounts, we go to Add a New Account. And to do this, we go Add Account, and then we choose the account type. In my case, I'm going to set mine to be an other income item. I have to give it a unique code. I'm going to use 205. And I'll name it an appropriate name, such as Government Grants JobKeeper. In the tax code, I'll set this to be a BAS excluded item and save. Now we have our income item to allocate the funds when we receive them from the tax office. The next step is we're going to go to the dashboard and we go add the payroll item. So we go to where our company name is, in this case, demo company, down to settings, across the payroll settings and then to pay items. From within the pay items, we go to add a new income earning line. So we'll make sure we're at the earnings area and go across to add. And we'll add an ordinary times earnings. Give it an appropriate name, such as JobKeeper Payment. The display name can be exactly the same. The rate we're going to use is fixed amount. You can put a dollar amount in here or leave it blank. But in our case, we're assuming the employee is on a weekly basis, we would enter a $750 amount. If they are fortnightly, we would actually enter the $1,500 amount. You can choose at a linked expense account. And in our case, we're just going to simply put it to the standard wages and salaries expense item. We need to make sure it is not exempted from pay as you go withholding, as this is a taxable payment but it is exempt from superannuation guarantee contributions. And we do want it to report a W1 on the activity statement. Once we've done all these stages, we just click the add button. We can now return back to our dashboard. The next step after setting up the payroll item is to allocate that payroll item to each of the applicable employees. To do this, we go to the payroll, employees, select the applicable employee, in this case, James, and we go to the pay template. From within the pay template, we add the earnings line, which we've set up in the second step. I choose the earnings rate, JobKeeper payment. At this point, I could either use the default earnings rate that we set up earlier, or enter the rate applicable to this employee. If James was expected to receive the full $1,500 per fortnight, I could put the $1,500 in here and simply hit save. We have the confirmation that's been saved. I can click the employee word up here. That will take us back to our employee list, at which point I can go and add it to the next employee. Pay template. In this case, this employee is a weekly earner. So when I do the earnings line, I may cho you choose the JobKeeper payment, leaving it on enter rate, and put the $750 in there. 
and save. When all employees are completed, we can simply return back to the dashboard. Now we have set up the payroll items and allocated to our employees. When we do a payroll it will run next, we should have those lines appearing. So in this case, I'll do pay employees, add a pay run. I'll do the fortnightly pay run. And when we go into James, I see see the JobKeeper payment. Now in James's case, we need to make sure is that the appropriate amount and adjust it accordingly if it's not. Once you're happy, we just hit save. And close. And process the pay run as normal. I hope this has been informative. If you have any more questions, feel free to get in contact with our office. Thank you.